Welcome to this tutorial video on Google Calendar Basics. I'm using Google Calendar uh, just because that's what a lot of schools have, but certainly iCal um, has the same type of features. Obviously, it doesn't look exactly the same. So we're going to go over some basic scheduling um, things that you may or may not be aware of that are important for some of the later, uh, more nuanced or detailed things. So uh, up here in the top left is where you can create something. Most people create an event. That's the general type um, uh, thing. You can also create focus time, which kind of blocks out time in your calendar. You can mark out of office. Um, task is kind of a to-do, so it doesn't necessarily have a time, uh, more of like a to-do list or a checkbox. And then we're going to look at appointment schedule um, in a future video. Uh, so we'll just look at event, uh, which pops up. This is very similar on your mobile um, app as well or we can title the event. You can also change the type of uh, event it is here if you want um, using our start and stop time. I like to often click the more options button just because it gives kind of a bigger screen as well as a few other additional items here. Um, I can change the time to uh, start to finish. I can change the dates. Um, I have the option here for repeat or all day. Um, if you want a location, especially if you're doing directions on your phone, uh, that's very useful. You can start typing, um, you know, let's say I'm going to Walmart and it'll start pulling from Google Maps, which is nice. That way, then when you it comes up, you can actually use that in directions in your phone if you want. There are notifications here. You'll notice that I have two default notifications, uh, which we'll look at how to change those in a bit. But you can also add additional. So if you're like me and especially if the meetings, something I've got to make sure I'm ready for done, I'll put a couple different notifications days, weeks, hours, minutes out. Um, I have the option here to change the calendar as well, what calendar it goes on, depending on how many different calendars you're using. Um, and then also I would encourage you to look at the description box. I use the description box a lot for pasting links. Uh, if there's a specific tool or web link that I need, I'll put it there. That way it'll be available when the time comes for that event, maybe it's a Zoom link or a website or a registration form. Um, you can also, this is a relatively new feature, you can hit create meeting notes and it'll create a Google Doc. Once we save the event, it'll be titled the name of this and it gets shared with all of your guests, which is the last thing that's over here. So it's basically if you had something where you wanted to collaborate on some notes about the meeting, um, it actually creates it and automatically shares it with those folks and adds it to all of their calendars as well, which is a pretty cool feature. Looking at the views in your calendar, you'll see here I'm on the weekly view. I've got lots of different calendar options that I can see here. Down the left-hand side is where I can uncheck or check calendars that I would like to have show up. Um, if you haven't um, used Google Classroom before as part of your classroom, you might not know that the Google Classroom calendars show up over here as well. So anything um, or any um, assignments or things that you have due. Uh, so for example, you'll see kind of down here in the very bottom left hand corner, there's three purple assignment notifications due. Uh, that's part of this Google Creation Tools class. So they'll, you'll see those uh, that are there. I can also toggle between days, weeks, or months. Some people like the monthly view. Um, I have a lot of stuff on my calendar, and so I don't, I can't quite handle that. Or if you get down to the day, maybe you have too far blank. Something that you might not be aware of, if I switch this back to the weekly view, is if you come over here to the left-hand side, you can actually drag and select specific days. So let's say I only want to see a two, I only want to see uh, a weekend view. So I'm going to go Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and it'll actually just pull up the three day view. And then you actually see that it changes over here, or maybe I want to see two weeks. So I want to see from Sunday, two weeks, Saturday, it'll show you a two week view here. So you can actually sort of drag and select over here. Some people like that view a little better. And then when you go and you do your drop down here, okay, you still have the regular, uh, sort of back and forth um, that you would have doing that. So there are just some Google Calendar basics uh, that you may or may not be aware of as we make our way into some more advanced tips and tricks for scheduling. 